another episode of Fire Promoted here on Fire Pro Wrestling World. This is the LDW series. This is our fourth installment, I believe. So, last time we um, told me to do something with the which am I call it? What was it? Uh, oh, scouting, scouting and finding some wrestlers and stuff. So, what I'm going to do right now? They said I'm going to management. No, they said human resources. So now we're going to hire a scouter. We already hired one. That's right. And he's been hired for eight months. So we already have a scouter. I don't need to buy another one. Mm. So I have a scouter. I'm not going to do that. We're going to go offer some contracts today. Go to the free agents in America. Let's see. The showman. We're not at that level. They said something like pay attention to the popularity level. So that's one thing. If they're not very popular, we're going to have to hire them and build them up. Negotiate. We can negotiate. Acquire $500. That's not bad. Oh, okay, this is where the bad part comes in. Uh, sure, this amount. I'm not going any too. I'm not going too high for anybody. All right, we signed somebody. That's good. That's actually really good. So today's episode, last year, last time here on the show, we had visiting. We had visitor um, Will Osprey. He faced off against Ricochet. Very great match between those two. Ricoch Ricochet lost the match against Will Osprey. It was a great match. Match of the night, I believe it was. Um, start us off, we had Nick Mondo facing off against Michael Elgin. Nick Mondo defeated Michael Elgin. Michael Elgin, his losing streak continues. Um, in the main event, we had we crowned the number one contender. Tessa Blanchard faced off against um, excuse me, uh, Pentagon Jr., so tonight, Tessa Blanchard, she will have her chance at the World Championship. Well, not Tessa Blanchard. Sorry, I screwed that whole thing up. Pentagon Jr. defeated Tessa Blanchard. So tonight, Pentagon Jr. will be facing uh, Hangman Adam Page for the World Championship on our episode today. So let's see. Moving on. Um, I'm not talking about brokers. I'm about to just start following what they tell me instead of just assuming... You know, because I already have a scouter. I don't have to worry about that part. He's signed for eight more months till the end of the year. And we just signed somebody, so that's that's pretty good. Moving on. We're going to go ahead and um, just book the event, basically. That's all we have to really do from here. Unless, um... Oh. Merchandise. What, is, what do they mean by this? These cells are, f these things are flying off the shelves. I hope the trend continues. To sponsor benefits. T-shirt design based on the popular stable base. Oh, okay. Um, we can't sell this, boss. We'll have to dispose of the inventory. Damn. All right. Seriously? Damn. Okay. That's just I me mean, wasting money then. When it came to that. That sucks. One thing I want to analyze is like, why, is, why are those numbers red? You know, that doesn't look very good to me. Sorry, merch stable logo. The cost be this much. Okay, we can try it with the goods. See how much we can make from it. Right, so training center, this is already good. I want to build up to the ring doctor at some point. So, there's that. I just realized no one's even used the gym. Can I, can I like, make them train or something? Training expedition. Oh, let me associate him somewhere. Um... That's for a wrestler. This Jeff guy. 
he can be a part of good. Okay. I mean, yeah, you can fit in here. Uh, my goal is to t sign at least by the end of this, like, by the time we hit, like, uh, 12 episodes, I hope we can sign at least up to 20, 20 to 30 people so we can book some tag teams and some, um, yeah, tag teams and um, other championships, the trios championship as well. So, there's that. That's done. Um, return. So this, so how much the show is going to cost us? About thirteen thousand. That's the typical thing. So yeah, that's it. That's all we got to work with. Uh, budget is low. So we're at thirty-eight thousand. I mean, we're already going to hit like thirty, past thirty because of the show. Let's see if I can invite anybody. Just just to add in another person. Let's see, today I'm going to book Ricochet against Michael Elgin. Since they're both on a terrible streak. Um, I'm all, of course, you know the World Championship match. And then there's... Um, Tessa's going to need a match, right? How is Tessa doing? That's what I want to know. Because like, I saw something about she was in poor conditioning. Let me go look at the... The super, the not superstars, the wrestlers. Uh, wrestler stats. He's normal. He's normal. He's good, of course, because he just got signed. He's normal. He's in good conditioning. Pentagon Jr. is in good conditioning for his match today. Even though the neck is still looking kind of bad. She's in poor conditioning. So, how we're going to book our show today, we're going to have these two face off. Nick Mondo. Yeah, Nick Mondo is going to face the new guy. Since he picked up the win, he earned basically this match to face the new guy. And Mondo is like 1 in 4. No, no, he's 1 in 2 here in, in LDW. These guys are 0 and 3. So, they, so, one of them needs a, a win here. And Jeff Bryan is just debuting, so there's that. These two are undefeated so far, I and mean, he's in the undefeated in tag team and regular match. So, and he's the world champion, so there's that too. Tessa, she's 2 and 1 here in LDW, but she's in poor conditioning. She's going to need the night off, so we're going to give her the night off. So, that's that. Let's go ahead and get to our show now. Let's go ahead and book everything up. Promotion stats. Let's see. I just wanted to check this out. Alright, whatever. Moving on to booking. Alright, standard events. Um, yeah, normal matches. That was the most exciting show for me. So, I prefer that. Let's see. Entry singles match. Um, do we want to give? You know what? We're gonna start off with Ricochet. We got. We're gonna need a hook to the show, so start off with Ricochet against Michael Elgin. I, I guess I think I've said this before. Like I'm not gonna keep going all out with the outfits. I'm just I'm just doing it for fun. When I do do it, like Pentagon's gonna enter his match with a um, gold in the tire. So there's that, signifying he wants to win the gold in our show today. So Nick Mondo, he's at a good status. He won for the first time in LDW. Jeff Bryan making his debut. And then there's our main event of the evening for the World Championship. It's going to be Pentagon Jr. in the blue corner. Facing off against Adam Page. And the title match. 
perfect. Now, Tesla Blanchard has the night off, 13,200. Our budget will hit about 30, over 30. Not over 30, our budget is 38,000 something something. We're gonna go over $30,000 for everything budgeted. And we're gonna make some money in return, so it's no big deal. Let's see. Mm, Earl Hebner. Is there any referees that are not that expensive? Or, you know, I'm trying to say here, like, will cost less to bring in. Okay, Earl Hebner. Social media. TV commercial. Oh my god. <laughs> That boosts us. We're already at a full house, so there's no need to keep trying to bring in people. We already have a full house, so we're good to go. Um, this has a 60-minute time limit. Perfect. It already knows it. That's cool. Spinning Panther, though. So that's good. We're good here. 30 minutes. Spinning Panther. It's, I like how I remembered it. That's cool. Now the spinning panther here. Yeah, it just remembers it. Cool. That's good. That's actually good. It remembers it. This game is cool. Look at that. So, fourth episode. We have made it, guys. First time Adam Page has to defend his LDW heavyweight title. Nick Mondo and Jeff Bryan. Jeff Bryan debuts here tonight. Ricochet versus Michael Elgin. Let's see who can pick up some momentum for the first time here in LDW. Ricochet is a great competitor. He's been putting on some great matches. He just can't pick up a win. Michael Elgin as well. Putting on great matches. Even main event. He's main evented two times on our show and just lost. But hey, both great competitors. Let's see who can win. Nick Mondo faces the new guy. Maybe his momentum continues from last show. Or Jeff Bryan goes over and he wins in his, his debut match. So that's that. And that's that. Um, I think I'm good to go here. Yeah, we're good to go here, so confirm the match card, really. That's, that's all I can really say. Yeah, we're good. I, I, was, I was having second thoughts. Nope, we're good. Can't think of anything to worry about. Alright. Yep, 33650 We're going to make probably about 20000 So, I'll leave about 10000 something. Which won't be too bad. I wish our budget could be lower. Um, I just like to book three, well actually since we have a new guy, if I can ha sign, look, after the fifth episode, we probably will be just sitting at a lower rate, we're probably going to be making more money than we're spending at that point, we just got to get more people, we're making these serious expenses now just to build up our show, because in the future we're going to make all kinds of money, booking smaller venues with more wrestlers and more content, which which is a big deal, it is a smart way of doing business here. So, there's that. Let's go ahead and proceed. Uh, I guess, like I said, every time, every episode I say this, you gotta spend money to make money. Keep that in mind. And yeah, I'm getting text messages in the background. <laughs> Alright, proceed. Alright. Here we go, guys. April event. Four episodes. Four shows later, and we haven't been canceled, and we're gone broke. We're good. Alright, here we go. Ricochet versus Michael Elgin. Nick Mondo versus the newcomer Jeff Bryan. Jeff Bryan, George, remember the name. Oh, yeah, this is a new signee. That's a visitor that I can't remember their name. <laughs> so, Full House, Pentagon Jr. versus Adam Page for the LDW heavyweight title in the main event. Here we go, guys. Put on my commentary voice. Lord mercy. I'm getting blown up over here. Alright, welcome to Lions Den Wrestling. Here we go with our first match of the evening. One and only King Ricochet. 
Ricochet. Great wrestler here in P in um not PWG with the world LDW. I'm thinking of how he's a PW former PWG world champion. So great professional wrestler has been putting on such fantastic matches. He was the ma he had the held the match of the night with Tessa Blanchard our first show, then faced off against um, Will Osprey last last show here and put on a great match, but still couldn't win the steel cage match. Michael Elgin, he was in our first show. Win the World Heavy and World Heavyweight Title match, lost it, but great showing. And face off against Stanley Adams, uh, one of those weeks. <laughs> and let's see who can pick up a, their first one here in LDW. They're both great competitors, both amazing um, accomplishments in their backgrounds. Just have yet to pick up serious momentum. So here we go, nice little leg sweep there. Take down, takes down the big man. Nice flip there from Ricochet to counter. Neckbreaker. All right, not falls up with a knee drop. Ricochet with a scoop slam takes out Michael Elgin. Off the bat, just hold. He's saving his energy. This is a big man versus a small man with a live ability. Oof. You could almost call this a David versus Goliath match here. One thing though. Ricochet can definitely match up to Michael Elgin just because Michael Elgin's size there's not a difference maker here Ricochet is a former Lucha Underground World Champ and PWG World Champion Michael Elgin former IWGP Intercontinental Champion and never open weight champion I believe Ring of Honor but I'm not fully sure about that I do more research I'm not fully educated on Michael Elgin but I am educated on Ricochet here but Okay, back to the match. Frankensteiner there takes down Michael Elgin. Elgin back up. Beautiful strength by Ricochet. Ricochet is showing the advantage so far. Elgin is just showing a complete defense. Listen, he needs to change that defense to offense here. Misses, he, he keeps missing that spinning elbow. And you, you see that move, when you do it, it takes off a lot of energy. He's going to have to save that momentum. Because Ricochet has a ton of momentum. Stamina, speed, acrobatics, all that. Michael Elgin with his size, he's not he can't match the speed of Ricochet. That's a fact. So back and forth, Ricochet has got the complete advantage so far. Ooh, kick to the back there. Scoop slam by Michael Elgin. Ooh. Nice elbow. And then now a nice enziguri there. To follow up, Elgin is winded. All right, here we go with the press slam into a. Uh, okay, there's a there's a strip press slam. Now it falls up into a Boston Crab. I like his follow up so far. He's not. He's staying on the opponent. No, no. He's taking breaths here and there, but he's staying on his opponent in this match. I respect the um, calculation on Michael Elgin's part, but Ricochet still has the advantage as he now has him a half Boston Crab. Michael Elgin trying to come back now. Nice little strikes there. Let's see what they're going to do. Throws them in. Oh, a power slam by Ricochet. The size does not intimidate Ricochet. He's been in the ring with the ultimate best. Picks him up. Oh, Michael Elgin has been in the ring with the best as well. I'm just saying Ricochet is not intimidated in any way. They're basically at the same level with their ability in that ring. But Ricochet definitely has the momentum so far. Oh. Michael Elgin's wounded. Oh. Fireman's carry. Gut check there. Alright. Both men are down. Now back up. Elgin is winded. Wind Look at that. See the speed? Like what I was saying. Already getting, just losing it at this point. Press slam. He's going to throw him out. Throws Ricochet right outside the ring. My goodness. Such a brutal move there. Ricochet throws him back in just like that. Elgin is tired. Here comes Ricochet. Oh, springboard moonsault to take down Michael Elgin. Fantastic. Oof. Step up Enziguri there. Takes down Ricochet. Michael Elgin still trying to retain some momentum. 
Oh, not momentum. Oh, yeah, you can say momentum, yeah. Ricochet, fireman's carry. Gut check there to the big man. Kick to the back. All Ricochet has to do is take the big man down, keep him down for that 630 senton. He's moving too close to the turnbuckle there. Ricochet throws him in. Here he comes. Flying, falling clothesline there. Kick to the back. He's him with those kicks to the back. The more you kick to the spine, the more the nerves start to be damaged after a while. You can you, know, you start to lock up as you're trying to hit certain moves and use certain strength. So this is very calculative and picking each detail out of Michael Elgin in this match. So Boston Crab to Ricochet putting the weight down on the back. He's got a certain size about him. He's mul he's all muscle. That's one thing about him. He definitely has he's about at least 300 about over 300 pounds of muscle. Throws him in. Has him up press slam. Oh. Ricochet is down. What is Michael going to do now? Oof. Flying. Enziguri there with one kick. The exchange. Ooh. Uh, upper punch, elbow. Upper punch, elbow. He's fired up. Spinning back kick. But here comes Michael Elgin. Spinning elbow there. Both of these men want a win here. And can't stand their records. By the end of this, one man will stand tall. I can guarantee you that. Elgin Bomb! Pinfall one, two, three. Oh! I thought that was it. Snap suplex. Ricochet going up. 630 Centon! Drags him. Drags the big man to the middle. Pinfall. One, two, three. Ricochet has defeated Michael Elgin. Congratulations, Ricochet. Michael Elgin hit the showers. My goodness. Fantastic match to start us off here, guys. Amazing match. Amazing match. All right, here we go up next. The debut of Jeff Bryan facing off against the ultra-violent artist and legend Nick Mondo. guys sick Nick Mondo defeated I bring farther defeated Michael Elgin last week in a steel cage match his first win here in LDW let's see if he can continue his momentum up next against the new Jeff Bryan the new signee here to LDW this man is a high flyer could be the Jack Evans of LDW, Knight of Despair, Jeff Bryan. Very interesting nickname there. Oh, he said suck it. Okay. I, I like his attitude. Let's see who's going to pick up the win here. Oh, nice, Laird. Just to start us off, we're into a Boston Crab. If Mondo, you better get ready to pull out your speed. This guy it looks like he does not play any games whatsoever. Elbow there. Welcome to LDW, Jeff Bryan. Oh, DDT. Throws him in. Jumps over, kip up. Oh, misses the move there. This is going to be a battle of speed and technical wrestling. I love these types of matchups. Each move just shows how much both men have trained so hard to be great in that ring. Just for the LDW fans. And the, also the wrestling fans watching around the world. Ooh, pile driver there. Now nice Cobra clutch there. Alright, they break up. They're trying to do something here. Nick Mondo, suplex there. 
Takes down Jeff Bryan. Ooh, nice. S step up. Uh, Frankenstein there. Oh, oh, nasty elbows. I may have misjudged this guy. He might be a te te more of a technical base wrestler here. That's what he's displaying here. Do not judge a book by its cover. The exchange, the kick, and the elbows. Bamaye! Oh, a stunner! Oh! Muto leg whip there. Takes down Nick Mondo. Nick Mondo, the butterfly feet all over the ropes. Throws him into the corner. Oh, a, a cutter there. Got him. Oh, DDT. Mondo. Throws Mondo in. Oh, a nasty Frankenstein there. Drops him right on the top of his head. That had to knock the wind out of sick Nick Mondo. You heard the announcer. Five minutes have passed. This match has a 30 minute time limit. One. Ooh, kick out there. Has him up. Suplex takes Jeff Bryan right outside the ring. Now Nick Mondo has a chance to catch his breath. Bryan back in. Oh, whoa, what? Roll up here, one. Ooh, only gets a one count. That was amazing. This guy is sneaky. I like him. Has him up. Ooh, pile driver there. Runs off the ropes. Oh, uh, uppercut to the back of the head. Throws him in. Oh, nice arm drag there. Now into a Boston Crab. Mondo, you're right next to the ropes. Grab it. Throws him in. And swells right underneath the legs. Pile driver once again. You can see where his focus is, is that top of the head. Oh, a Superman punch. Complete focuses on the head. Misses it there. Nick Mondo has lost the advantage. Oh my god. Pinfall one. Two, three. Oh, I thought that was it. Oh, neck breaker there. Let's see if Nick Mondo can come back in this matchup and retain momentum here. Oh, Frankenstein takes him down. Nice step up in Zagiri. Now, what's he going to do? Jeff Bryan trying to come back. Oh, neck breaker there. Bryan going up. Whoa! A 6.30 moonsault! Two! Three! Oh! Amazing! Simply amazing! So this man is a mixture of technical wrestling and luchador style. My goodness. He's mat based and also a luchador. What a fantastic competitor. Welcome to LDW. Let's see if he can win this match though. Put Nick Mondo away. Nice neck breaker. Mondo is winded and shook. Jeff Bryan. Oh my god. Last ride. Pinfall. One, two, three. Jeff Bryan has won his debut. Welcome to LDW. Amazing. Simply amazing. Wow. The fans love him. That is crazy. Wow. Moving on, guys. Fantastic match for his debut. Now, we have made it to our main event of the evening. The number one contender, Pentagon Jr., facing off against the world champion, Adam Page. Here we go, guys.
All right, here he is, El Cerro Miedo Pentagon Jr. This man has a background. He's been a world champion before. Let's see if he can become the LDW World Heavyweight Champion here tonight. Now here he is, Hangman Adam Page. With his elite move set and his will to fight. Amazing acrobats, technical style. He can hit that rites of passage, even as if with a how hard the move is, he can throw it, he can capitalize on it at any time. All right, 16 minute time limit. The world championship match is on the line now. Here we go. Nice scoop slam. Pentagon Jr. has walked into this match with a neck injury. So he has to hope that Eggman Page doesn't capitalize on that too much. And one thing with the rites of passage, it is more attack, it attacks more of the neck area. Here comes Eggman. Oh, Russian leg sweep. Tessa Blanchard, when she was facing Pentagon on our last show, she was focusing on the neck. She almost put him away on so many occasions, but she just couldn't finish him off. Hey man, Adam Page, being, oof, man. That oof for me just now was just like, man, Pentagon has the advantage so far. Hey man, Page actually had the day off from last show, so he should be fully fresh for this match. Pentagon had to go through war with Tessa last week. And he's had to go through war every time he's putting his himself on the his body on the line in that ring every week since our first show. On our first show he beat Nick Mondo. Our second show he defeated the visitor, I think his name was Michael Smith or something like that. And then he defeats Tessa Blanchard. I remember in his match with um the visitor Michael Smith, that's my assumption of his name. He was the injury was started on that show as the man kept hitting him with the belly to back suplex and dropping him on his head so many times, even did it on the outside of the ring. Oh, pop up power bomb one. Oh, I thought that was against at least get to a two count, anyways. But the belly to back breakers, like throughout the match, I believe it was even outside the ring, it just really attacked, it just really damaged the neck of Pentagon. But he fought through it last time in that number one contenders match just to get to this match. He just has to hope Hangman Adam Page does not capitalize on it. But it looks like he's got the whole advantage in this match so far. He just needs to hope he doesn't lose the advantage because Adam Page will take advantage when he sees it. Oh my god. Packers Power Driver. Never pins him. I wish he would just pin them after that move. Throws him in. This is why I say just pin him after you do that move, Pentagon. Oh my god. Hurricane Ron from the top rope. And that had to hit, hurt the neck. And now it falls up with an elbow drop. Now what? He was going to go for something, but Pentagon gets back up for after that. Belly to belly. Doesn't fully get all of it. You can see that, that, that he was shook and he's rocked from that Hurricane Ron and an elbow drop that attacks the neck. At some point, Pentagon, he's just going to be going off of adrenaline in this match. Oh. Very nice duo chop to the chest of Hangman M. Page to take him down there. Package power driver. Oh, my God. Pin him. Pin him. Now with a, a an ankle lock. Let's see if Adam Page is going to tap. Oh. Nice Ken Kennedy bomb there. Oh. There we go. It's the Oh, the back and forth here. Here we go. Oh, he's fired up. He got him. Pentagon Jr. with the golden colors here tonight. He is ready to win that world title. Pinfall here. One, two, three. Oh, my God. That wasn't it. Now a power bomb. Pentagon Jr. is 
exhausted in this match. Take oh, just a quick chop to knock him down. Pentagon Jr. Power bomb there. Two, three. Oh my God! I thought Hangman Page won this or lost this match. Now suplex. Oh wow. <laughs> Okay, I have a guess, but um, anyways, DDT by Hangman Page. Elbow drop, drops right on the front of the neck instead of the back. Hangman Page has really lost momentum. He's in complete defense mode throughout this match. Let's see if he can even pull off some offense and win this match and defend his championship here tonight. And believe me, if he wins tonight, that will build up his credibility here after his first defense. Oh my god. Burning Hammer! Pentagon is exhausted. He's literally going off of adrenaline. And Page in. Pentagon trying to catch his breath. Here we go. In the ring now. Throws him in. He was going to go for that sling blade, but he didn't get it. What's Adam Page going to do? Throws him in. The fans are speaking. They love what's in front of him right now. Oh, my God. Beautiful drop kick into a backflip. Lands on his feet like a cat. Now, a, oh, my God. Jesus. If that was not towards the ropes, he would have picked up the win there, I believe. Elbow drop. What is he doing? Now a moonsault. Completely on the ropes. He's going to increase his ring IQ with that. Oh my god, package power driver. Pin him. Pin him now. Oh my god. Pentagon. Oh no. That has to be it. That has to be it. One, two, three. Oh! Oh my god. Package pile driver from Pentagon Jr. Pin him for God's sake. Oh my god. Hangman hey Adam Page legitimately just dropped him on the back of his head, forcing the neck to just, just bend in such an awkward position. Pentagon, you need to really just go for any pin you can get at this point. Hangman Page. Has him up. He's going to go for that Hurricane Rana again. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. A Canadian destroyer from the top rope. He's got him. Neck breaker there. Now what? Come on, Pentagon. The fans are behind Pentagon in this match, even though he's evil. Oh, my God. He's got to be paralyzed. One, two, three. Adam Page is still your LDW World Heavyweight Champion. What a fantastic main event. Wow. Such great, great effort from Pentagon Jr. in this match. I hate to say it, but it clearly was not fully enough to pick up the win. Props to him, though. Great match. My goodness. Congratulations to Adam Page, our fighting world champion. All right, now I've turned off my commentary voice for the show. All right, guys, so great show. What fantastic. He saw Ricochet. He picked up his first win for LDW, defeating Michael Elgin. Michael Elgin is on still on the losing streak here um, Jeff Bryan made his debut defeated Nick Mondo Pentagon Jr. much respect to him he d he could not pick up the win over Adam Page Adam Page a lot of respect to him it's it's just it, that was a great show that was a fantastic show let's see how much we made from the show though spend money and make money let's see what we can get great success alright cool the stats look great but what about the money 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 
Let's see. I don't care about their championships. We we had a great show. We made thirty thousand. Awesome. That's actually awesome. We made good money from the goods. That is freaking amazing. See, you gotta invest your money into side things so you can make some extra on the side and then oh my god, this all came together. Remember we started out at 134,000 and our assets are back and even more at 135,000. We're perfect right now. This month is a tournament. I'm not doing this. We're not doing tournaments. We don't have enough people. Alright, we have made it. Nick was a guest on Japanese talk show Tetsuya's Room. They pulled solid ratings. Alright guys. Let me see. I almost messed up on this last time. Remember to save it. Oh my god. Fantastic. Fantastic. Alright guys. Thank you for watching today's episode. I'll catch you guys later.